What's up guys and gals, Finn here, welcome back to Destiny 2, Season of Deep Time, you know the usual, we're going to make shit ton of videos on each week as they go by, covering most of the seasonal content, and the cutscenes and the story related aspects. Hope you guys enjoy the new season, for me it's pretty decent so far, but it all comes down to the long term in terms of these seasons, will it dry out? Well, it would be pretty hard if it's the sea, but we'll see to that. Now, like and subscribe, comment down below, what is your favourite, ooh, favourite exotic change this season, and I will see you in the next video. Catch you later. The witness has moved beyond our reach. All attempts to follow it. have failed. But there is still hope. On Neptune, we learned that a key to defeating the Witness lies hidden away on Titan. Now we know why the Witness's fleet came there when it first arrived. Deputy Commander Sloan held the line on Titan to the bitter end, right up until the Witness took it. Then, we lost all contact. But now, just when we need it most, Titan has returned. And when it did, we were greeted with something we could have never predicted. To any Guardians listening, this is Deputy Commander Sloan requesting emergency support. This is a Priority One rescue operation. We have received a distress call on the secure Vanguard channel. The target of extraction is Deputy Commander Sloan. She was last seen on Titan before it vanished, during the arrival of the pyramids. Our job is to triangulate where the distress signal is coming from, find the Deputy Commander, and get her out. I know what you may be thinking, but Sloan is one of the most tenacious, resilient soldiers I've ever known. If anyone could have survived this, it's her. The Guardian has landed. I'm at our old LZ. No sign of Sloan or enemy activity. Extraction team. What's your status? Commander, I am at the tidal anchor, not far from your position. It is abandoned. Quiet. The stress signal is weak. I've established a beachhead inside the new Pacific Arcology. No sign of the hive. Signal strength is weak here as well. Guardian, you need to cross the rig to a line of communications dish so we can triangulate Sloan's position. Keep comms open. We don't know what happened here. Taken! I've got multiple Taken engagements on my position. They are on me as well! Confirm 10 Taken contacts in the new Pacific Arcology. Iron War Beasts are engaging.
Extraction team, status. All clear, Commander. Minimal casualties. Tidal anchor is secure. The Taken are gone. Guardian, get to the array. Is that the derelict? Hey, gang! Heard there was a party, and I thought I'd pop on by and see what the fuss is all about. This is a rescue mission for Deputy Commander Sloan. Get off the line. Oh, great! She owes me a drink. A drink? Would I lie? Taken incoming, falling back to the Arcology Solarium. I am the mountain upon which all swords sever! Hone your aid against me! No. The hand around your throat! I am the last breath in your mouth! You cannot escape me! More taken! They're coming up from the methane flush! I'm holding position!
remembers Sagira shuddering. She was worthy of death. Osiris was not. Are you so fragile? Show your down. Fight me. I will tear you apart with my bare hands. we heard. It was Zivu Arath. I had only heard her voice in audio logs from the fall of the Cabal homeworld. There's no mistaking her. She must be near. We need to be careful. Her influence has never been this strong. We need to find Sloane and get her out of here now. You're almost at the Array Guardian. Get moving. Go! Consoles here at Siren's Watch say the array is unpowered. Guardian, you need to find a way to reroute power, then properly align the array's receivers. Excellent work. Systems are lighting up here. I have Sloane's position as... One kilometer down. She is in the ocean. It is a sea of crushing methane. Nothing can survive there. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Guardian, rig schematics show a ballast maintenance shaft near your position. Follow the signal down and find the deputy commander. I'll join up with you shortly. at the diving point. I'm coming down to you. That ain't gonna happen, boss. Do you know how much pressure they're taking? They gotta get out of there. I am not leaving anyone behind again. And I ain't saying we do. All right, that's enough. I'm pulling you up before you and your ghost get blasted. Welcome to the derelict. 
I'm down in engineering making sure we don't blow up. Zavala's got his heart in the right place, but old Blue's about as stubborn as they come. You can't brute force this moon. The collapse messed the whole place up good. Gravity's weird down in the deep. There's pockets of air. Some places you can move safely. Others that'll crush you into a little speck. But I think I got something in my gets that'll help us out. Titan ain't my first aquatic rodeo. Go ahead and try out that prototype. Should protect you from the pressure. Well, some of it, at least. Now get on out of here. I'll fill the boss man in for you. Guardian, you're almost at the source of the distress signal. I've acquired one of Drifter's devices. I'll be joining you momentarily. Sloan? Here, Commander. You're alive. Staying alive was the mission. And I always complete the mission. No wonder you called us, sister. Let's get you back home. You don't understand. That distress call wasn't for me. An ally. Her name is Asa. You can communicate with it? It's complicated, sir. I get impressions, emotions, uh, ideas. She knows our true enemy. The witness came for her species, too. Discrete concepts are harder. Even more now, since this. And you're still... You? Every bit. My light is holding this corruption back, but I can hear voices whispering, demanding. It's like being tuned in to the enemy's radio. If we could strengthen my connection with Asa, I believe it would improve my ability to communicate through the noise. I got some ideas. I'll draw up some specs and drop by soon. Sloan. I'm fine, sir. And I think I'm long overdue for a debriefing. 
As you wish. We'll reconvene at the helm. Good to be back in contact with the Vanguard. It's an honor to serve with you. The Taken moved in quick after we lost Titan. I had to switch gears. Escape, evade, and rotate between extraction points. Survive for another day. That was the mission. I absorbed some of the Taken corruption to tap into their comms. If you can call them that. My bond with Asa proved mission critical too. I owe her my life. Now that Titan's back, the mission's changed. We need more intel on our enemy. The Witness. Drifter claims he knows a way to help Asa share that intel. Boost the signal so her message can get through. If he's right, then you're going to need some diving equipment. Thankfully, I was able to secure a pair of intact subnauticals from the Arcology storage units. Feel free to toss out that junk Drifter gave you earlier. This is the real deal. Hey there, hero. While you were taking a dip in the methane, I detected something on the ocean floor. And it ain't native to Titan. I've seen it before, on the Glycon, on the Leviathan, on my own ship, too. An organism that's all about forming psychic connections. Seems it's growing like coral down in the depths. I'm thinking we gather it up and use it to amplify Sloane's link to the creature. I can modify my gambit equipment to bank that stuff and harness its power, but I'll need some Golden Age parts to do it. Just so happens, the Arcology is full of Golden Age tech waiting to be salvaged. You help me collect it, and I'll fix up the bank. Then it's just a matter of, well, <laughs> diving into the depths of the methane sea and dredging up what Sloan needs. All while trying not to drown, of course. Nothing you can't handle, so what do you say? Ready for another swim? And that was the intro for the season. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. It was pretty nice. And we are now going over to the six man activity for the season. Which, it, playing it is pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoy it. But before we do that, we have our seasonal challenges. As per usual, we have complete the first week of the quest, pretty easy. We have complete three salvages and kill 50 fallen, pretty easy. We have successfully complete five jobs in the salvage activities, catch 50 fish and do two public events, pretty easy. Do a bunch of EDZ random stuff and you'll get that through. Complete a bunch of weekly playlist challenges, pretty simple as well. Score 50 points in Rift, that might be a bit annoying. Kill enemies in Gambit with primary weapons and defeat fallen combatants in Vanguard with a calibration of short range weaponry. But in this season, we also have the introduction of the upgrade points, which would normally be on the vendor station, but this time they are seasonal challenges. I'm not going to be able to say all of them because holy crap, I would be out of breath by the time I'd say, say bleh, like right now. By the time I say all of them, I'll be out of breath. But this time, instead of being on the vendor station, they are now seasonal challenges. Plus, they give you XP as well, so quite nice. 
And now that we have went through all of that, let's go into our first salvage. I'll see you there. There's explosive rigged around the Arcology. We need to disarm them before they blow. Get between them and the salvage.
Maintenance that needs to be done, and this area is too dangerous for anyone but a guardian. Let's get to work. We have hostiles gathering on the seafloor, sending you in to deal with them.
feel rage. Guardian, something's near. Idol now. How many among her rank ransacked the tower? More than none, but fewer than you might believe. You've missed a lot since you were gone. It feels like... like yesterday to me, Saladin. We were alone, scattered, lightless. I was ready to fight until my body broke. I don't expect you to immediately acclimate to the new world you found yourself in. But I do expect you to try. If I can learn to open my eyes and see beyond the tip of my sword, I know you can too. Now that we've completed our first salvage, I do have to say, it's quite a nice seasonal activity. And 
well, apart from me killing myself three times with a grenade launcher, it was pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed that first salvage run. If you didn't know, the order of the certain activities within it do change up. So you might have a defend first, then a portal one, and then the final one. Or it might go like the order I just had. So it's pretty cool. Mix it up a little bit. Anyway, that is head over and go do that next part of the quest. Known as Operation Thunderbolt. It's going to be a bit dangerous because, you know, lightning under water really isn't, you know, the best combination. But whatever. Let's head straight into this. This is Operation Thunderbolt. Asa has alerted us to a shelf of coral infested with a fungal spore we can use. However, it's in hostile territory. Always is, was, will be. Indeed. Forward Intel reports a Wrathborn servitor patrols the area. And it is not alone. You have two sites to hit. Deploy excavation equipment, defend and extract. Deputy Commander, Guardian, divide and conquer. Bring the Drifter what he needs. It's just nice to be back running with the both of you. On that, we can agree. It might have took me around 30 seconds, a minute, to find the lever. But, you know, I, I, I got there eventually. So, um, don't worry about it, guys. Let's continue. Servitors onto us. I just met contact. Let's hustle, Guardian. It's been an age since I've seen you fight, Sloan. Had you been with us on the dragon hunts? You're the bait now. Guardian, you're next. Goes against all my instincts, but I'll try to make myself look delicious. Deploying drill. Let's get loud, Guardian.
attacked. Drown this gift and revel in it. Kneel, that I may lay my blade across thine breast. The quiver of your heart to resonate its black edge. Get out of my head. Coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then meet their challenge. If someone if someone knows what that did, because I've got no clue, even playing back the footage right now as I'm recording the video and everything, I, I have no idea what that did. So um, if you know, comment down below uh, what that did. Hopefully they didn't arm like a torpedo or something, because that would be pretty bad. And yeah, let's continue with the video.
sites are secure and you just punched us a way out. Good. You haven't lost a step. Well, I've had a lot of dive time. But the Guardian took to the sea like a fish. Send over the submersible beacon and let's transmat this hull back to the rig. You're sure this new ally of yours is trustworthy? Hasn't let me down yet. You asked me to trust you about the Empress. Trust me about Asa. And that was Operation Thunderbolt. Pretty good first like seasonal weekly mission. It was not bad. Like, you know, gotta say it's actually pretty decent. Let us head and give that coral and see what happens. Let's do it. in the desert seeds of hope buried beneath the sands nomads wanderers travelers their journey comes to an end the first to be claimed by the deep the first to fall victim to the witness <gasps> So you heard all of that, huh? Hard to believe, but it's not just noise. I can understand bits and pieces of it through Asa. Zivu Arath's thirst for battle, the witness's cold rage, the Taken's enmity. It's all in there. I started hearing it when my arm got this new paint job, but it hasn't sounded that real since. Doesn't matter. I've been through it before, and I can get through it again. Asa has vital information about the witness. I'll do whatever it takes so she can deliver it. That's the mission, and I always complete the mission. Asa and I both need to recover before we boost our connection again. Until then, continue helping Drifter upgrade his technology. I hate to admit it, but his plan seems like it might actually work. That's it. It just works. It's not a scam, if that's what you're asking. Ain't gonna make you put in some glimmer and pull a lever. Mm -hmm. See, the way I look at it, this has always been the plan. Playing the game, Gambit, the machine, the Nine taking the long view. You think the Nine were telling you to run Gambit for this? That they saw everything coming, and that's how they choose to prepare us? Don't know, boss. Maybe they see the future. Maybe they're just a few floors above and can see further down the road than we can. Maybe we're all just squinting at specks, looking for meaning. What I'm saying is, it works. It'll get us what we need, and maybe, if we're lucky, get Sloane what she needs, too. And what is that? A win. And that was the first week of Season of the Deep. Pretty good. Nice start. And yeah, I gotta say, the new part of the helm looks really good. If you, um, yeah, like when I'm first noticing right now, all the uh, seasonal related objects are in the 
big ass aquarium, which is quite nice. That's the season of the splicer gauntlet, I'm pretty sure. There is a lot of empty spaces. That's the season of the seraph, season of the risen's right there, season of the lost, season of the haunted, season of the chosen. It's pretty cool. It's re it's really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know that there's a weekly mission on Nira Muna. I will get to that. I'll do that as a separate video because it's not really season related. It's more lightful. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.